So hi, this is uh, Ed, W4EDF here. Um, decided uh, we're gonna move our uh, antenna just a little bit away from the, the shack area that we have set up and figured we'd give an opportunity to sort of show how you can put up a painter pole with a single person instead of having to do two people. It's a little bit tricky, but, um, but I'll walk you through how to do it. And figured while we were here, I was gonna show what we're using here. Not necessarily my design, stole off of, uh, off of uh, uh, YouTube, but using uh, PVC conduit T um, to make my uh, center point here. Um, hooked onto a painter pole, using an adapter, a uh, pipe thread adapter to painter pole from Buddy Pole. And uh, what we have are three 16 foot uh, collapsible painter poles. So. What we're gonna do is first set up the center and then we're gonna put up each of the ends. So first thing you're gonna do is get everything set ahead of time. So biggest thing is gonna be your three leads. And these will be your three guys. All I'm doing it using is just a simple timber hitch uh, the other nice thing is none of this actually requires any special hardware. It's just a straight piece of cord and uh, that will work out just fine. So in this particular case, we are going to, one, extend up this part of the antenna. And then make sure your lines are out of the way. Now we're going for a triangle since uh, this one, the center one, is going to have three guy lines. So you want to do this in a triangle. And the pattern that you're going to be putting your stakes will be an equilateral triangle around the pole. So what you're going to do is try and get as close to that as you possibly can. It doesn't have to be exact, but it does help to be close. So we'll get this extended all the way up and let's do this here real quick. So here's the one guy, we have this guy and this one. And right now, if you can picture this, these are the two, uh, two of the ends. And in this particular case, what we're going to do is lay the pole down toward that single one. And then you lay these out. Again, like I said, try and make a bit of a triangle from the pole. And take a stake. Push it in. Hook on one of the ends. Don't worry about it being tight yet. And then come over about where you think that's going to be. Push the other one in. And hook that to the guy. Now, we can bring the antenna pull or the painter pull up. And as you see, We have two guy lines that are now taut. Which means that now I can hold on to this guy line and everything is held solid. So come down here. And just tighten this up. And we got lucky with these guys that they're actually tight enough. And then you can actually adjust a little bit. And there you go. That's your first.
So now we'll go to this far one over here. Let me go grab off camera and grab more stakes. Hopefully I have not forgotten where I put them. Okay. So in this case, we only need to use two stakes. Um, you could use three, but as you'll see, you're not really gonna need to do that. And again, this is going to be, now in the case of, uh, of this particular setup, I'm, since I'm going with, a, uh, with an inverted V, I only need to bring it, I'm not taking the last, uh, the last section up. Okay. So here again, what you're going to do is find out where your antenna is going to be about the right position. And here we'll just let that end fall. Keeping, keeping the base where you had it set up uh, the right way. Now here, we're gonna loosen these up. And again, come over like you would for a triangle. And push that in. Same thing here. And let's give it a little bit more. And push that in. These might be a little bit far out, but in this particular case, we don't have to worry as much. All right. Now we'll lift these up. All right. So now, we grab hold of the adjuster here. And, uh, as I said, tell you what, so I can lean it back a little bit. All right, there we go. So we tension that up. And we tension this up. All right, so now we're at a point where it's up, it doesn't look pretty just yet, but you can now start to adjust. And in this particular case, I'm looking at this, it's probably a good example. This one's just a little bit close. It's a little too, if you, uh, if you look at this as, that's your one end for your guy, and then out this way uh, of your triangle will be your other guys. You'll notice this one's just a little bit forward. So, the beauty is we can just move this quick. And looks like we might have to adjust the knot, but that's okay. So we can bring this back a little bit. Just like that. All right. All right, so there we go. We have tension being pulled from the antenna that way and the guys pulling this way on this line. In fact, I could probably bring this one back a little bit. On the ends, these can actually be a little bit further back, but as long as they make a triangle. And there we go. And that's not going anywhere. 
And for the last one, we're pretty much going to do the same as we just did. Oh, and look at that. I pulled too much. So, Jeremy, if you could get a picture of the antenna, the center, you'll see that... Uh, at least from the side, it's it's being pulled quite a bit, and that's just a little too much tension. So we're gonna loosen these, and that hopefully should have straightened up. A little bit, okay. Well, we'll be pulling a little bit more from the other side. Because right now there's a lot of uh, weight from the, yeah, that, that will even up. <laughs> so, here's our next antenna. And uh, so there we go. And now you've got the antennas in a line. About where I want them. So I'm gonna drop them again. Give myself a little bit of length. Probably come back here. Go quite so far. Let me go right. And again, in that sort of triangle pattern again. And then we bring this. Up. And we're going to hold on to both of these for now. And uh, yeah, the trickiest part is actually moving the, the line up, but once you get the first one, eh, or we could even go so far as to untie this and do it again. Which is kind of a nice thing about having using this as just a straight up knot. So we can do this. And Jeremy, I might have you come in closer for the, uh, as I do this knot. And this is a taut line hitch. Just another another simple uh, another simple knot. Real useful when you're dealing with antennas. And there you go. Perfect. So Jeremy, if you want to uh, bring the camera in here, I'll do a real quick taunt line hitch and that will, uh, that will complete the antenna. <clears throat> How's it working so far? Okay. So I'm going to be doing a close in. Is that where you're going to do it? Or? It's going to be up about where the, the distance of the other is. So, so it's going to be right, right here. Are you in? Yeah. Okay, so we've got our last one in, and I figured I'd take the opportunity to show how to do the taunt line hitch, which you have... You're standing in there. This is the 
the loose end and then you come up and you're going to wrap the line around twice underneath and then you bring it under above all that and that makes that knot right there which you can actually adjust and it stays tight and just like that and there we go that is how you set up an antenna and again um, we're gonna need to uh, just sort of straighten things up and take a look at it. Uh, you need to do just a few minor adjustments. And in fact, looking at this, I do have it a little bit off uh, center, but that's fine. You can uh, you can adjust it as you as you need. Once you have it up, once you've got most of your guys up, it's easier to move it around by loosening. In fact, I can move this to the. Um, if you want to pull back, I can show you. So right now, we have a bit of an, of an angle to where this pole needs to go over right about here, so about a foot. And what we can do, nice thing with these hitches, is we loosen that up, and we can move it over. Yeah, it needs a little bit more. And there we go. So let's see, so we'll start off with tightening him. And then we can pull on this and tighten this one. And there we go. And that is pretty straight. So anyway, again, uh, this is W4EDF, uh, Ed. And uh, this is how you uh, can put up three painter pole dipole antenna for 40. In this particular case, it is a 40 and 20, um, just on your own.